didn't think it was recording then. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all okay. Uh, right, before I get on to the reading, first and foremost, I need to let you know, I said a couple of weeks back we were going to adopt another animal for the channel. So we got Polly, someone said Polly for the name of the polar bear. So we got Polly a couple of weeks back, or WWF wrong, set up the adoption for that. Um, but there were too many choices. So I decided that we we're going to adopt two and I'll set up the, the direct debits uh, for two animals. So you go, I need you to go and vote on what other animal you want. Uh, we've got a snow, I've, I've picked it down to five, it's really hard for me because I want to do them all. Um, but I've got it down to, the, to another five. Uh, so there's snow leopard, elephant, turtle, rhino or penguin. So can you go and have a vote please on the one that you want and I'll get that adoption set up. 24 to 40, 24 hours I think it records the poll over. Um, and then yeah. And then we've got two animals for the channel. Right, next, uh, on to the reading. We, guide, uh, we were going to do feelings today, because I said last week we were going to do their feelings, but actually, the energy between you all today is a lot stronger with regard to are they missing you? Because there seems to be quite a lot of longing, yearning energy as you all, as a whole. Welcome to Manchester. As a whole, um, so yes, yeah, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go through that, go through that today. Uh, do they miss you? I've picked up two oracle decks. I don't normally use them, but they're they're very good to kind of add that little bit extra to um, to cards. So I'll probably use. I think we're gonna do five of each card, and then we'll do two or three of them each. So how are we gonna do this? We'll do. I'm gonna swap them around. Actually, we are going to do. Deck number one and deck number two. So pick your deck. Uh, you need to go from your solar plexus energy, so two inches above your belly button where that is pulling you, number one and number two. Think about you, think about your person. Uh, if you're drawn between the two, don't overly panic. It will be because your energy is kind of your energy will be in one, their energy will be in another, so it's going to be kind of a mutual energy, so probably watch both decks if you're, that is happening with you. Um, those of you that have asked me if I can slow down my speaking, unfortunately, because it's from spirit and it's channeled, I don't talk that quickly in everyday life, but because it's coming through so quickly, if I don't get it out, the time they give it to me, you are going to miss your messages and you won't get um, get the, the, the full translation of it. So apparently there's a slowing down button, someone's told me, and there's also a subtitles to, um, it's a English subtitles, but someone said there's a subtitles one as well and sent me a picture, so be aware. Okay, let's go. Can we go to deck number one, please? Let's get into the energies first. I was just listening to that Copperhead Road. I love that song. I love a bit of Copperhead Road. Uh, okay, can you think about your person? Can we get into the collective thoughts, feelings, energy of their persons, energy, emotions, and thought processes of their person? Two, three. Okay. Can you tell me? I've got decks everywhere. Can you tell me? Uh, are there people missing them? Are there people missing them? What's going on? The wood's going down. Just a stronger mutual energy than the feelings today. That's why it's more important. Knight of Cups straight away. Do they miss you? Do they miss the people watching? Two, three. I'm actually going to do... We're going to do six. Do they miss you? Four. Five. One more. Thank you. Six. Okay. Let's do your oracles while we're at it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do two from the strange lens and two from the heart vessels. Okay. Can I have two for deck number one? Mutual energy. One. Go. I know uh, I never have guidebooks, you know. Well, I have them, but a lot of my decks are chucking them out. I don't believe in the guidebooks. Um, it's quite interesting with Oracle cards. One, two. Okay, 
So what's currently happening with your person yes to do miss you? It's clear as day. You've got the Knight of Cups and you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So Knight of Cups is someone that is making heart-centered energy moves towards you based on love. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is them going slowly towards you. But there's both two cards of strong movement from your person towards you. Um, so there is, there is a, a strong element of heart-centered energy. There's a strong element of stability. There's a strong element of security. Um, but these are what they're trying to base their um, efforts of moving towards you with. So, if you're not in contact, or you're little contact, or you're still with someone, or you're not speaking to someone, or you're long distance, there is heart-centered energy, and there is stability energy that the, your person will be moving towards you on. Some of you, if you haven't heard, I just heard two weeks really clearly. Uh, now, that won't be all of you, but that was a very, very strong mutual energy coming through with that. Um, your person at this moment in time is stuck uh, with a bit of a choice. Okay, normally, the, well, normally, this choice is what to do about the situation. Um, it's not normally anything. It's what they want to do about the situation. They want to make these nighty moves towards you, but there's also an element of something that is pulling them backwards. Um, and that element is, with our little beetle over here, that element of self-protect, okay? So beetles have got these kind of hard shells and hard coats, haven't they, to kind of protect them from animals or whatever. Um, and so they are, they want to make these moves towards you, but they've just gone a little bit into self-protect mode, okay? Um, and the reason for that, you've got Nyx over here, you've got a female goddess, strong, independent, powerful, divine feminine energy. Now remember, it's never sexually orientated or gender specific, okay? It works, I always work with energy rather than that. Um, but these are mas strong masculine energy and a strong feminine energy and this kind of scares the living daylights out of them sometimes because sometimes I find that the divine feminine well it's all this self-love is definitely in process is that we are in this kick-ass movement you know we're like yeah we're charging forwards and it can frighten them so they've got themselves into this little bit of a two of swords energy they're not quite sure which direction to go down but there is definite movement coming in over here so yes the answer is the doom issue um Moving forward from those two, then we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, these really good cards. Uh, you've got a passionate new beginning based on um, kind of sexual energy movement again. Strong, building a house, building the mansion, building a new home together, building a life together. And you have the Ace of Pentacles for the more stable side of things. Okay, again, back to stability. Stability is key within this relationship. So if you've been feeling like you've been heavily burdened or weighed down or that it's it's been you can't trust them and it's been insecure this could be part of the reason why they're in this two of swords energy they're a bit insecure they're not really sure what they're going to be doing okay um but these movements will come forward now what's had to happen for a lot of you is this situation has had to kind of come to a close or a tower or um you know it, it's kind of come to that conclusion where it's gone a little bit what's going on, what we're doing, what's happening um and the reason for that is because it's had to have this period of rebirth all right, so it's like, again, they've just, uh, Spirit just showed me the seasons, you know, and we go through winter and everything kind of dies and it's all really grey and miserable and crappy, isn't it? And then we're starting to come into spring and through spring we start to get this period of rebirth and this rebirth is what's going to bring this movement towards you if you're not in contact and even if you are in contact, this is movement for building you and them up into your stable new beginnings, your, your stability. They are peeping at you, they are watching you also on social media or the equivalent. Um, they'll also, some of them will be checking up with your friends or you'll have mutual friends, the friendship thing is going on. They're just trying to see what you are up to, what's going on. Um, they're failing to kind of see that actually they, they could just do something about it. But at the moment they're just kind of investigating, working out what direction to go through. Um, so yeah, then we, so period of rebirth as spring is coming in. Um, what's happened in whatever situation has been going on between the two of you or three of you um, you've had this period where you've had to really kind of rediscover yourself you've, a lot of you have gone through quite a dark heavy energy um, recently quite a few dark nights of the soul have been going on and what's coming out of that again is this period of rebirth so you've got freedom over here with the this mirror uh, the mirror mirror that was channel mirroring um, but I meant to say rainbow. 
I love clever audience. You can't you try to get your words out and it gets all muddled up. Um, so you're mirroring your energy. This rainbow between the two of you, as spring comes in, is going to be pushing you two together. You're no longer raining. You're helping the plants to grow. There's heart-centered energy between the two of you. And the stars mean you're always on the right path. So you're building this relationship back up. So the overall answer is yes, I do miss you. Um, they're just the only uneasy card not uneasy but card in this is the two of swords and the beetle self-protect is making them pause from making a decision and that's all but they do miss you it was nice okay that's deck number one nice easy reading for that i like that one i love it when they oh i forgot this one sorry guys i missed it grab a star so not only have we got stars over here i forgot two jumped out not only have you got your stars over here about being on the right path, they're also saying reach for the stars, manifest what you want, um, it will be coming towards you. It might seem like nothing is happening, but go for what you want in your life, you know. Uh, time to do, release all the negative energies, don't hold on to that, you don't want to be holding on to that any longer than what you need to. Let it all flow, let it all grow, spirit is saying and uh, reap the rewards. So sowing the seeds, basically the last few months has been a time of sowing seeds and now you're gonna be starting to reap the rewards. Remember that all videos are timeless because I'm a psychic, so we don't work with time because there's no such time, thing as time in the higher dimensions. Um, so whenever you watch this, whatever you are at that point in time, this is where it's going. So really good cards. I like deck number one, it was a nice reading. Okay. Cool. Right, let's do deck number two. Cool, cool, cool. Where is my number twos? Okay, let's go. What am I time on? 11.37. Can you get me into deck number twos energy, please? So as always, it'll work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. You know the drill. If anything doesn't resonate, just remember it. It'll come up. Uh, deck number two's energy. Um, think about your person. Can we get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And um, can we pull out the strongest mutual energy between everyone? And do they miss you? If you've just uh, skipped forward, guys, um, I've put up a poll for the adoption of the next animal. Uh, so you've got snow leopard, elephant, turtle, rhino, or penguin. So go and have a vote. Okay, can you tell me, is there a person missing them? Is there a person missing them? Is there a person missing them? That number two. The person missing those that are watching. Three. We did six on the last deck. I'll do the same. So I'm going to be using the Oracle decks as well for this. And they're missing them. Four. Five. Six. Okay. And then we'll get two of these. These are the Strange Lands Oracle. Do -ba -do -ba -ba -do. I'm crap at telling you what decks are used. I've just got so I've got about over a hundred decks. Um, this is just I've got in here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen decks in here, and then the rest of the decks are next door. Okay, can I have two cards for deck number two? One, two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and can we get two cards from over here? Did I miss them for deck number two? One. <laughs> this is exactly what happened on the last deck. I tried to get two and they jumped out three, so we're, we're having three of each. Three on one side, two on the other. Okay, is your person missing you? Uh, your person is a reflector, okay, quite possibly a box person, uh, what I mean by that is they have certain boxes and the boxes never meet, and it, that was not explained well, my guy just told me. So you have a box for home, you have a box for work, you have a box for you, you have a box for money, you have a box for hobbies, and these kind of all different friends, lots of different boxes, and your person will leave the lid open on said boxes, but your boxes will net his box, or their, sorry lads, their boxes 
will never meet, okay? So work and friends won't meet, sometimes they do, but you'll have work friends, you know, family and girlfriends, etc., etc., etc. So your person is definitely a box person. And through that box effect, they like to retreat from situations to kind of work it out. Now, some of you, this is feeling like you haven't been going anywhere. You've been feeling like it's stop, start. Some of you feeling like it hasn't even started. Some of you feeling like it never begun. Um, so you're kind of just working out and you're weighing up your choices. Now, what's happening with your person is at this moment in time, a lot of them, you aren't, they've kind of go away to reflect on things that are going on. So you've got the Hermit, King of Swords, Six of Swords. So they go away into this retreat mode, into working out what they actually want. And they don't really do very well at that because they're quite stubborn as a whole. I'm not calling all of your people stubborn. Remember, it's collective. They're stubborn. They think they're right all the time. Um, they can be quite selfish. They're not really sure about how their actions are affecting your reactions. So, you know, if they aren't texting you and you're texting them and they're, they're not reacting, they're not kind of thinking that's down to them. They're kind of putting that blame on you. Now, not blame, but they'll say, oh, well, she keeps texting all the time. Uh -uh. Me being non-gender specific and sex non-sexually orientated, they, sorry, lads and women, um, they aren't, um, aren't sure. You know, they, they, they go, you're... Blip, 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 blip. their actions your reactions and they can't work out that your reactions are due to their actions and it is also kind of vice versa so some of you have been going oh what they're doing either way blah 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 and um, that could be affecting this retreat mode as well also remember that you let your thoughts turn into things so don't try not to hold a thought for more than 17 seconds if you can just distract yourself go and make a cup of tea go paint your nails or have a bath or go for a walk or whatever equivalent that you want to do and um, try to break that momentum that negative momentum because your person what is happening is they aren't opening up to you about how they're feeling and this is because they have boxes this is because they retreat and this is because they're not quite sure how to communicate how they're feeling towards you um, however what happens from that is then you start to panic you take a double take on it you're like what's going on with this situation why are they acting this way what have I ever done wrong to them why are there's a little fly on that I don't know if you can see why are they landing on me like they do like flies land on you know bits and pieces why are the flies landing on me making me feel a bit crap and then flying off just like flies do, you know, flies are everywhere and they're, they, I don't know, they're not vermin, but they're insects, aren't they? Um, and they spread disease. So <laughs> I'm not saying your person is spreading disease, but what I am saying is that you are left over feeling like you've been landed on by a bunch of flies and you're feeling a bit crappy and you're feeling a bit heavy burdened by it. But they're not get again, they're not working out that it's all about actions and reactions. Now, the root of all of this is your lovely fear card okay and the fear is because of these ones over here love romance and self-doubt so you've got a whole bunch of things happening that is going on behind the scene that you're not quite sure about and you will be mirroring this energy so you will be feeling it and they will be feeling it so you've got self-doubt this is a kind of like looking in the mirror Again, mirrors being brought into this. Um, feeling quite heavily burdened by things, thinking that sometimes you're not good enough. If their actions are making you react the way they are, you're thinking, well, what is it that I've done? You know, that's kind of going through your energy because you're like, all I did is ever love them and all I want is romance. Now, the other way your person is thinking, um, I have feelings for them. I want to see where this goes but I'm not sure that this is the right time. I'm not sure if this is right for me. I'm not sure if it's the right person. I'm not sure if our communication is going okay. Um, this is in a more dignified way. You know, this is what they, they are thinking, their inner thoughts are, okay? Um, and these are all stemming from these fears. So just be fully aware of it all. Uh, fear is at the forefront of this, um, but you're kind of both echoing that energy towards one another. I'm just going to show you this one because it's staring at me. Um, if you're not in contact, you've got um, connect, okay? There is going to be movement towards you. At the moment, you're back to back, but your heart energy is merging into one. All your emotions building up into this kind of self-protect triangle. So you'll be building it forward together. Now, your outcome cards over here, you've got three of ones, nine of cuts, knight of pentacles. Um, so this is action, things happening, everything you want. 
and movement, slow steady movement from your piercing towards you. However, this isn't going to be as quick as deck number one. This is a bit slower. It's a bit more stoppy starty. It's a bit stagnant. You might feel like you're stuck in these kind of mucky waters. Um, but there is still movement and things will be moving forward in your direction. Does your person miss you? Yes. But this fear is overtaking them at the moment. And you can tell from the way the car's kind of coming out. There's quite a lot of muddled energy, miscommunication, actions, reactions, all of that kind of blah -de blah is what is paused in the situation. What can you do about it? Try to release that negative momentum. Go, you know, when you're spiraling and you're getting them thoughts, break that momentum. Um, I'm also, Spirit just showing me uh, crystals. In my, if you can get some uh, seven crystals for your seven main chakras, that will be good. You could use, for your root chakra, you could use tourmaline. For your sacral, you could use carnelian. For your solar plexus, you could use uh, citrine or something like that. Your heart, aventurine, your throat, turquoise, your third eye, lapis lazuli, and your crown, amethyst. Okay, that's just a few. You can go have a Google on it as well. Um, but they will help uh, help cleanse that energy that's kind of a bit stagnant. Um, bear in mind it will come forward. And with these cards over here, these are really positive love, romance and connect. But there's just a lot of fear and there is a lot of doubt. And you two are mirroring this energy, you know, with the mirror on the card as well. The good news is though, again, even though her nails are a little bit hideous and <laughs> she's holding this chalice, and you remember cups are, uh, cups in tarot are all about love and romance, and with the star over the top, it means that the romance is, is on the right track, it's just probably not as quick as you would want, but they do miss you, and it's coming, but they just got, you've kind of, you're both just echoing that energy. Make sure that you're returning to sender, make sure you're destroying and uncreating any thoughts that aren't any good for you. Um, when they come into your energy, just go now, destroy and uncreate all of that. Uh, get rid of it. You don't need it in your energy anymore. Um, and from that, then things can move forward. It's a bit of a sticky road, yes, but they do miss you. And it's coming, but it's just a bit slower. Okay. Uh, step number two. So, go and have a vote on your animal. Snow leopard, elephant, turtle, rhino, penguin. And then once that's done, I'll get the adoption going for that. And we can have another little animal to go with Polly. I can't remember who called her Polly, but we're going with Polly as a name. Um, go and have a look at that, go have a vote. If you want to book a private reading, it's mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I'm also on Instagram as mysticlovetarot. I, I'm not very good at responding to my messages on there. You're better catching me over email. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's about it. Yeah, oh, my turnaround's at 20 days at the moment for video readings. That's half hour, 15 minute ones. Um, I do single questions over email uh, for $11.11 .11 as well uh, per question. So if you want individual, they're 24 to 48 hours. So you don't have to wait that long period of time. My wait list is, is rather large, um, but it keeps us busy, don't it? it? Keeps us working in the love and light. So it's all good. It's all good. All right, guys, spread the word, spread the love. You got this. Everything's cool. Peace out. One love to you all. And I'll speak to you all soon.